Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for October. Thank you so much for tuning in. So Aries, I'm just going to jump right in. Like we're not even going to do all that sweet talk, that small talk. We're just going to get to straight to the point. Because what I feel around you um, is ice, basically. You know, you're getting some... Um, some people closely looking at every move you make at this moment and i feel that is people that know you know have known you for quite some time have seen you in a certain element have been you know um you know the things you've been doing and like i said a couple months ago as well it's like you guys are changing as you guys are really going for what your heart true desire is where you feel guided towards and you're starting to make some really serious changes and have been making some changes and are choosing to do it differently this year and that's not weird when the cancer north node is you know activated like when the north node went in cancer it was sort of like okay how well of uh, a connection you have with yourself and how much you value your uh, self-love and do you actually are are you afraid to put yourself first are you afraid to put your health on number one it's all of that it's like self-love self-care and it's been a real journey like i've seen it around me like it's been a wave you know but what i said is let's get back to the point um is that they're just people looking at you through the old eyes, through the old filter. It's almost like the only filters they have is the filters we, that they are available, for example, on Instagram. You know, um, those are the only filters they have for you. And you're coming in with some sweet ass after light <laughs> Photoshop filters. You know, it's like a whole new you. It's a whole new system and i feel that they are still trying to fit you back into the box and or seeing you through a certain filter and it just doesn't fit anymore it doesn't complement you it doesn't really make them understand you any better they just can't crack your coat right now that's what i'm feeling around you Ari, strongly and let's see what what we what type of card fits that here we go we have focus intentions and we have boundaries which is clear right all right i'm gonna bring this uh singing ball because it's connected to your third eye this is the third eye chakra which is it's so absolutely gorgeous i don't know if it's something you're into but i'm gonna ring it once because i want to clear out the energy that i feel around you for this month because i just these eyes are like pretty strongly right now all right i was already feeling a lot better um here we have aries what where should we focus on right there's a lot of things going on around you there's a lot of things happening with people around you but what will you put your energy and your focus towards in the month of october the thing it's about focused intention keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and action focus on your target target sorry and you will make your mark aries and here we have another one love yourself enough to say no to others demand that demand your time or energy so love yourself enough and that's what we spoke about already it's like okay self-love self-care put myself first where am i in that journey right now and they're saying like try and put yourself on number one focus where you want to go what you want to achieve or who you want to connect to right so it's um it's really important that you don't let the noise get to you this month and just try and enjoy the people that make you feel good about yourself that make you feel good about the environment that make you feel at home that make you feel welcome that intrigue you that start a fire within you that make you motivated that that motivate you basically and just try and focus on tuning into that because it's really helpful because you are making those steps Aries you make you are on this important journey right now and there's a lot of things changing around you that have been similar for years and years so then it's important to also adapt some new filters to that 
right? So it's you're getting a green light on your boundaries. If you have been putting up some boundaries and have been getting quite intense reactions from that, they're saying you're doing the right thing. Keep following that pathway. If they're demanding of your time, of your energy, that's fine. But give what you have to give, not what they're only wanting to take, what they need, right? Give what you want to give. That's good. All right, Aries. Let's see if we can pick up on some other energies for you for this month. We're going into the with the regular tarot deck. So OG right here. <laughs> it's just an original, you know. It's still one of my favorite decks. So let's see. What are we starting off with? King of Cups. This one wants to come with it. Wow, the world card. Beautiful, Aries. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh, you are still winning, Aries. You are still winning. You are winning. That energy is still around you. It's really all about, I'm going to follow what I make, what makes me feel good. All right, when I wake up in the morning, I think, all right, it's a brand new day. Let me get started. All right, all right. You know, it's like that energy and something is ending and there's an ending to a chapter and I feel like you've been trying to get out of something for years. Maybe it's a way of thinking. Maybe it's a way of looking at yourself, at your talents, at your capabilities. Or it's maybe looking, you know, at a situation when it comes to family or a relationship. Like you've wanted something to change yet you weren't really comfortable with the change yet you weren't really ready to take those steps and i really feel like here you are you're like sitting on your throne you're really comfortable with these new emotions you know with these new feelings really living your life by heart let me see something is coming in that just makes you feel so goddamn good who is that you see here we have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles with the seven of pentacles in between both your feminine and masculine energy are sort of working together in the month of october it's very beautiful aries really is because the thing is is that there's if it comes to uh, a connection, right? And I feel like some of you have maybe been in some troubled water. It's really because the focus was so on building something tangible. It was serious. It was serious talk, serious business. It was just, there was no really room to play. It was really like, I got to show up as the ki king or as the queen. And it's like, we're all focused on everything we, you know, the money, you know, the material things, the house, the home, the job, the company. It's all about that. Like, okay, we're putting in, feels good, but like, what is it? Like, is it something stable? Is it something real? Is it going to slip through my fingers? I feel good now, but will I feel good next week? You know, it's like, it really is a little bit of that energy. But overall, what I'm feeling is that. your equals what you you may look up to a person you may have seen people win may have seen people rise up to the top in a month of, you know in the year of 2019 and you're just like okay that person really got their things together and but i don't feel like i can deliver the same or is it going to happen for me you know it's really like connected to your energy because i'm reading for so many areas areas <laughs> areas is what i see is you have been planting the seeds serious like it's like where's that one for me where's the partner if you're single like you've been asking yourself but it's it's here it's in your energy so let me see why this comes out what else can you tell me just let me know for areas there we go we have the Three of Cups, the Devil Energy, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Wands, and then the Queen of Cups. For some of you, for some of my areas, you guys have been sort of feeling distracted by 
a triangle. This could be three people. I don't really like to go there, but it could have been in the past. I don't really feel like it's something that's like still happening. It's a, you know, it's like a triangle, but I also feel like, okay, I have myself, I have my job and then I have my partner or I have my family and I have my partner and I have myself. And it's like, where does it fit? And I feel like that was this, this pull towards um, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like you are just sort of hold down and everybody just wanted everything from you. Like, oh, this party and this and I want this and this, or this birthday. You have to come to this family event and you have to be here and be there. It's like there's so much pulling uh, you back and forth, basically. And I just feel like you just want that break. You just want a moment where you can just do whatever you feel that day because you feel like it. All right, this is what I'm picking up. Overall, I see that there's a, a peaceful energy coming towards you after this comes to a climax because I feel like it's building up towards your full moon because we're going to have an Aries, you know, full moon will be an Aries in the month of October around the 13, 14, 12. It really depends on where you're at, okay? But it's around the 13. Let's just keep it there. Um, that's going to be an interesting Sunday night though. It's, I feel that if the two of you have been struggling and I just want to let, you know, give a side note to Aries that connect to that, like it's just been struggling, like you guys just haven't been on the same page, focus on what it made you, uh, what made you attract to that person in the first place, emotionally, you know, instead of when it all get, get, uh, went too serious and too much pressure and all of that, like what was the main thing? I really feel that coming into the feelings and emotions for that person without all the extra noise will definitely help the two of you to come really in alignment with each other and find a solution together for certain questions like have a nice date night out or anything like that like really go back to like why if you were attracted to this person in the first place you know overall it could be dealing with a water sign capricorn I mean, Capricorn is Earth sign, of course, but I was like, oh, the water sign, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Capricorn. <laughs> Here we have a, um, a message for you guys. It's like, you can really have what you want, Aries. You really have that skill. You really, you really have, you know, so much potential. It's all about focusing on your self-worth and value really is the key to come from the seven of pentacles waiting for results waiting for an outcome waiting waiting to like bomb queen of pentacles king of pentacles it has to do with that sense of belief do you believe you got this and you got this because you're showing up as the king of wands and whether you're masculine or feminine doesn't matter it's that energy you see and that's what i'm talking about that's that fire within that's that passionate new beginning you have to feel comfortable in your own skin in your own um the things that you are achieving on an individual level to be able to even go into a deep connection with somebody because you, if you don't feel good about what you're manifesting in your life don't feel good about yourself if you feel restless in that it's gonna show up yeah you see it's gonna show up it, it can't really move anywhere if there's an this you know block at, on at each road so what happens the tower comes down The tower. And two people falling from the tower. Because there we go, Aries. This is what I like to see. Okay, I like to see the, the full card showing up in your reading. Because it also signifies you guys. Here we have the full. And what happens? It's emotionally free. Like emotional freedom. Feeling like all those walls just came down. And you can see all those change. You know broke so you're free to go wherever you want all those swords came out of your back and you just feel like wow i feel that sense of freedom again watch out for the signs 444 this month aries 44 444 
four, 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 yes. <laughs> Sorry, 444. That will tell you, that will tell you something this month. Like it will let you know you're doing the right thing. You're going, like the more you see of the 444, 444, the more you get this under control. That self-talk, that like, ah, oh, I don't know if I'm good enough. I've tried it for so long. I don't know which way to go. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's like, it's really a self-sabotaging yourself from this pathway. So like I said, follow the signs, follow that energy. And that will tell you, okay, you're doing the right thing. Take things lightly, approach things from the place of love, approaching from a lighter energy and approach, approach and talk towards yourself from that place of love. That will really help you because there's so much beauty here on a table for you, Aries. There we go. You see who literally ring the bell, ring the bell <laughs> with his sword, his little page, his little page. You are not, we're not, we're not, we're not going to let little page people with that little sword, with their little opinions get you off track. Like, come on, Aries, you know better than that. You know better than to give mind, be up at night, overthink something because somebody has, wants you under this filter, doesn't want you too happy, doesn't want you to shine, doesn't want you to go. No. We're not going to allow this to take it away from you. We're not. Because you deserve that. And I know it's a challenge because some of those people really can get to you. But yes, Nine of Cups, it's about your happiness. It's important. It's really important. And it's important for any future person. Exactly that. Here you go. There you go. That's the Nine of Pentacles and that's your Nine of Cups. That's your anything you wanted that you can see, touch, smell, feel, put on, you know, drink up. Here we go. That it, it, that's it. Because that's the journey. You see, you have so much potential laying underneath it all. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles and the tower comes up because they want to shake you awake like Aries don't forget who you are come on now you know take a lighter approach focus on what makes you feel good and that's the thing that side road these are the people around you you know emotionally manipulators you know this is no like I told you in the guys in the beginning that whole filter energy right that's it that's your road. That's your pathway. This is the noise. See? So here we go. A new beginning. And you will. Because that's it. Because the whole core of this was the seven. I told you. You're jumping from the seven to the nine. And you did. Because here you have the nine of pentacles. This is your garden. This is what you're reaping. And you will reap something in the month of October. It's starting. But also know when this is happening. All right? When this is happening... And this could be your own fears. This could be your own self-talk. It could have been in your own way, which is so naturally, like it's so natural to do. But it's not helping us. So we got to sort of evolve from that. And it's okay if that comes in steps, you know, a little bit forward and a little bit backwards. That's fine. It's a journey. It's okay. But continue and let the, that feeling, your emotions, let your intuition guide you. Like whatever makes you happy. Does it really make you happy? Then go, then try it out. And it will always be these people it's like, yeah, my, you know, I only want you to be on the disc filter because I just know you like that, you know. I don't recognize you anymore. Yeah, because you're evolving and you're meant to become that. It's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want to, you know, for any cross watches, it might not connect, but one sec. It doesn't necessarily have to be you could be something else could be them you know your aries as an aries being in your own way but i think you know we should just keep it at this because it's very clear it's it's the journey you know it's very clear so 
it's good it really is good like i said just keep following the signs this month these will really help you to stay out of that self-sabotaging self -sabotaging energy and let's just pick three more cards um let's pick up another deck because you guys are gonna have a full moon <laughs> this month and that's why i'm gonna pick up the moonology deck for you and i'm gonna pick three cards put them out on the table and you can pick your own card right let me guys l let me know if you enjoy pick card reading or not in the monthlies because otherwise i'll just move it on to a separate video there we go one two that's not it that's it three all right these are such amazing cards the moon <laughs> You guys are the moon okay i'm gonna ring the bell one time focus on your you know breathing take a deep breath in take a deep breath out while i'm ringing the bell and then choose your card all right it's your extra message for october all right let's start with the first card a personal issue reaches a resolution full moon in cancer there we come there we come okay i'm going to read the card for you guys because we have some time we're good big time time is an illusion anyway so you know sorry that's my cancer <laughs> all right full moon in cancer that is 74 Things are likely to get very heated as full moon in Cancer is super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around so treat carefully and as you move towards your goals and dreams. This card indicates an especially... sorry especially feminine time indicates an especially feminine time sorry it also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up nothing to worry about it signals a challenge to now coming to an end so it means that whatever is coming on it's coming into an end all right this card also suggests both that domestic matter of private issue will soon come to a head and that is a great time to move house Okay, so for my areas of moving, it's a great time, all right? Um, the answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. Wow, is this so connected to, you know, the emperor energy? Beautiful. This is a time for you to step up and agree to overcome these insecurities. Okay, to overcome your insecurities. It may be the best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Additional meaning for this card. Meditate to suit heightened emotions. Don't be too clingy. Stop sulking. Have you had enough family time lately? So that's like sort of the extra additional to this card. It really is. Like it's sort of guiding you towards but also allowing things to come a little in, in new ways. Open up to for new ways, like side doors and sideways to go about things. And yes, you can follow and chase your dreams and do all of that, put yourself first, but then the communicate towards other be try and be soft and kind because you're gonna receive that back to you and it's gonna help you on your journey. They're not saying to stop, to not do this. It really is to like um allow yourself to look at your own insecurities and the way you look at yourself and the way you love yourself as well on this journey Aries all right that was card number one let's move into card number two have faith in your dreams have faith in your dreams Aries so I'm not gonna read the entire because this card's quite clear you know but I will give you some extra keys to this one okay Mm, 26 one more there we 
go. Okay, so for you, for the people, pick card number two. Focus on your full moon, which like I told you, is like the 13th, 14th, 12th, you know, of October. Sit with it and keep um, repeating to yourself, I am focused on what I want. I am focused on what I want. I am focused on what I want. All right. So additional matters, um, meaning, sorry, just be because you can't see your dreams, it doesn't mean that they're not manifesting. Don't look back. Stay focused on moving forward. Be patient as events unfold. And let's one dig a little deeper to find more courage. All right? That's beautiful. Such a beautiful card. All right, last one. I'm sure a lot of people left the video, but now we're like, this is way too long. <laughs> I love you guys. You Aries. All right, then we have the full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get into your way. Don't let pride get into your way. It's like a lower energy of the ego. This is, you know, saying to you, you have to do this perfectly or you've done this before. So now you cannot take a step back and go back to school or anything like that. Right. It's keeping you from evolving. So with the full moon in Leo, the extra message for that is... It's time for you to show the world that what you got. Shine your light. Have some pride. Spoil yourself. You've earned it. You turned somebody's head. Okay, you turned someone's head lately, Aries. Well, that's the thing. Um, connection to the moon. Make time to have fun. They're just asking you to, in Libra season, to make time to have some fun. Focus on what you want and have some fun. So shine your light connected to the third card right i enjoyed this one because i never really take on the book i always just use my uh intuition and stuff which i also really enjoy but with this deck i really wanted to dive deeper into cards for one so thank you for joining me in that one <laughs> all right aries i love you guys to the moon and beyond i'll see you back soon i hope and um for now just have a lovely and amazing october all right there will still be some beautiful sunny days and um it's gonna be fine keep chasing those dreams bye i love you bye